Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing just a sit down and talk video because I know you guys actually really like those from me, which is kind of funny because I find them to be very boring. Like as I'm editing them, I feel like this is such a boring video. No one's going to want to like listen to this, but then a lot of you guys end up liking them. So I'm just going to give you guys a life update video today. So as you guys know, I'm in college. Last semester was rough to say the least. Um, I genuinely didn't know what I was going to do this semester or if I was gonna do it at all, but I kind of knew I was gonna do it just because I have very, not forceful parents, but like, they're gonna make sure I do college. So I knew I was gonna do it this semester, so I'm still at Roosevelt, yes, but I'm commuting now, which I've already explained to you guys in the past, in my last, I think like, I'm overwhelmed video, which was like, so dramatic. So I am commuting to Roosevelt every day, which is actually very enjoyable because, first update, I am reading a book, what? <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, I'm not one to read. I've never enjoyed reading. I don't do it in my free time. I am always on YouTube or Netflix or anything. But I've actually been very much enjoying reading recently. And I'm almost done with this book. It is Helen of Troy by Margaret George. I've meant to read this in the past. I literally bought this book like four years ago. Because Elle Fowler, who if you guys don't know, was like the OG beauty blogger? Vlogger? Person? Beauty guru? That's it. With her sister Blair. Um, introduced this book a while back in her, what are they called? Glitterature? Is that what they're called? I think that's what they're called. And she recommended this book and it sounded interesting so I bought it and it is huge for someone who doesn't enjoy reading. It's like 600 or 700 pages and I'm almost done with it. I am enjoying it. This is really good. It's about Greek gods and this story of this one girl who left her husband to go with her real true love. I don't know. It's like, like I could explain it but that's not really what I want this life update to be about, not this book. Um, but that's that. I'm actually enjoying reading, so that makes my commute much easier. So besides that, let me actually talk about second semester. Um, second semester is actually going really well. I just finished my first week. I've actually enjoyed it so far. It was just syllabus week though, so it was nothing like assignment or work related, which is kind of where it gets stressful for me, but it was enjoyable. I like all of my professors, although there's one class I have yet to attend, and that is my Monday class because it was Martin Luther King, a junior day, or MLK day whatever the correct term is, Martin Luther King Day. Um, so we did not have school as the entire globe did not, so you guys all know why <laughs> we did not attend school Monday. But I have one class Monday, which I have yet to try, and that is my creative writing class, which is like two or three hours. It's a long one, the longest class I have this entire semester. So I don't have anything to say about that, but I really enjoy my professors for second semester. So that makes classes one million times easier because I was explaining with one of my good friends, if the teacher is not up to par, then the class is not going to be up to par. Like, I will literally just, like, walk in, see the teacher, bye girl, and walk out. I cannot with a bad professor. So I am happy with all my professors and my classes. It seems like I'm going to enjoy the work we're doing. Let me, like, actually just break down my classes for you guys. The one that I have not attended is creative writing. So like I said, I can't say anything about that. Um, and then another class is just English. There's a proper term for it, but I don't know it. It's just English 102. And we have really yet to been assigned anything in that class yet, so I can't say much about the work, but it's just gonna be like a normal English class. I think it's a lot of reading and writing, um, like any other English class. So I'm okay with that. I've actually gotten really good at that this past semester, surprisingly. It was the one class I actually enjoyed more than the others, which is weird because English used to be my least favorite class. So I'm happy with that. And then another English type class, I have like three English classes, um, is my ACP, which is going to be around, um, what's the term? Primary texts. So like Aristotle, Malcolm X, stuff like that. Like just like kind of hard reads, but that's the class I'm most nervous for just because I think it's going to be like more intense than it needs to be, but the grading is really easy in that class, so I'm not too worried. And then I have my math class, which I'm good at math, and I actually have um, someone who sits next to me who, you know, <laughs> like, I hate this. Teachers are all like, okay, you so you can get with a partner if you want. Next class, we're gonna do, like, group assignments. I'm like, bitch, this is day one. Who knows anyone here? But the girl next to me was all like, do you have a partner? And I was like, oh my god, no, thank you, save me. So, like, she was nice. I love people like that because I'm not one to be like, um, <laughs> So I'm like, do you have a partner or something? Cause like, I don't. And then they're of course like, <laughs> sorry, my partner's like way over there. We just said we're gonna be partners. And they're like literally across the room and they've never met each other before, but they just don't wanna be your partners. And stuff like, stuff like that. Like I hate it so much. Um, but lucky for me, math I think is gonna be good. I've like enjoyed it so far. We've had a couple classes. And what are we learning in that class? Quantitative something. You can tell I'm a really good listener. <laughs> um, no, it's actually, it's good, it's easy. It's like, 
it's it's a category I'm really good with. This topic is going to be easy for me, so I have no worries about that. So yeah, that's about all I can say for second semester so far. It's going well. It's much easier than first. Well, I don't know if I should say it's easier than first semester because I haven't really gotten into it, but I have high hopes just because last semester I was literally breaking down. You guys know. So I'm excited for that, and I've actually made a vision board to help myself kind of get through this next semester slash year. So if you guys want me to share it with you guys, I will be glad to do that on camera. I actually did film a video of it, but then I looked at it and it was kind of like scatterbrained and not, not boring, but like I didn't think you guys would want to like see it. So if you guys think you would like to see a video about a vision board, if you guys know vision boards are just like kind of scrapbooked pictures onto a piece of paper that kind of give you tips and tricks on how to get through life and just, you know, like you take something from it. So I made one of those with my friend Sam. So we sat down and did those together and they were so much fun and it's helping me a lot actually. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Um, what else is going on? Oh, oh my God, this is exciting. So we are almost 5,000 subscribers. When I first started my channel, like I've always had high hopes for my channel, but like I didn't even think I was gonna get a thousand subscribers at some points like I was at 700 for I think like three years and then just this past year it's kind of grown a lot more than usual so I've been so happy and just so thankful for all of you guys who have joined and like tuned into my life and we're almost at 5,000 and if you guys remember I said way back when when I hit 5,000 I will do a giveaway and I'm so excited I already have thoughts coming to me I think I know what I'm gonna get for you guys it's gonna be like a bunch of little things and a cute little thing I'm not gonna give too much away um, but I'm so excited and we're growing really fast right now. I'm kind of like shook, like a little bit shook, not like shaken, but like shook. So <laughs> that's what's going on there. Um, this, sorry, this video is like so scatterbrained. I told you, you guys like when I just sit down and mumble and talk. So that's what I'm doing. Just kind of saying what's on my mind. Um, another thing I've mentioned this on my Snapchat. Oh, I already threw it in my trash. Um, but I've been enjoying Starbucks blonde lattes for the past month now. I think they've only been out for a month. It's a new drink. They're so good. I have one like every single day when I go to class. It's so good. It's not like flavorful, which is weird because that's usually what I turn to. I don't like super sweet drinks, but this Starbucks blonde is like just a little, it's, I think it's like literally in the name. It's like subtly sweet with a rich espresso, like so, like super smooth. I don't know. It's something crazy like that, but it's so good and I'm so addicted to them. So that's been going on. Another thing, I've already mentioned these on my Snapchat. So if you guys are coming from Snapchat, you're going to be very bored with these next two things, but I got these earrings, but they're these little like I don't want to say like Aztec heads, but they're like very abstract faces because I follow one um, blogger who I might have even mentioned on my channel. She's made way bigger than me, so you all know her if you watch me. But Janice Dustema, I've been following her since she literally had like 100 to 200,000 followers, and now she's over a million, and I'm like, girl, get it. Because her feed on Instagram literally feeds my soul. It's so aesthetically pleasing, but she had similar earrings to these, and I found these at Akira for like $10. I think hers were like 100 or 200 of course, um, but I found these. I th thought they were a steal. I was obsessed with hers, so I saw these, and I was like, it's fate. I had to get them, so I've been rocking these little <laughs> Aztec abstract faces. I don't know what to call them, um, but I'm so excited about them. I'm so ready for spring. I've just been like looking in the store windows, seeing like new clothes come out for spring, and I'm like... <laughs> please faster because I'm so over the cold we still have some snow on the ground here in Chicago but it's all like melting I think we're, we like we might have another snow but it's warming up and I'm happy about it because you guys know summer is my favorite season I just love being tan I love the beach I love like ocean salt stuff you know okay it's been about 10 minutes I don't know what else I don't want to make this video super long I just kind of wanted to update you guys I'm trying to think what else hmm um, I mean, I've, I've been slowing down with social media recently. I told myself in 2018 I was going to speed it up, but I've just not felt super inspired recently. This happens with me all the time. It's no surprise by now because I take weird breaks from Instagram and YouTube and Snapchat. Like, I'll, like, take, like, weird stretches of breaks when I feel like people get bored of my stuff sometimes. So I like to take breaks and then come back because I feel like people get, like, a fresh start whenever it's, like, a little break, you know? It's just, like, you need a little time off from faces you see all the time. So... I'm kind of picking it up again now. I'm feeling a little bit more re-inspired, but I definitely want to put out a video at least once a week for you guys, probably on the weekends because school week is a little bit busy for me. 
Um, so that's that and I think I'm gonna end it on that So if you guys enjoy these little talks, let me know again because this one was a little different from my last one All my life updates are so random and so scatterbrained um, But if you guys enjoy them give them a thumbs up so I know and I will keep on doing them So until next time you guys enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are I hope you guys are having a good semester if you're in college or high school this next semester you guys We're gonna kill it. It'll be good. It'll go by fast because summer is coming Second semester. It's always that last stretch, but we will be able to do it together. Let me know again if you want to see the vision board I will make a video on it it was a little boring but I think I can entertain it a little bit more for you guys if I do refilm it um so let me know and until next time I think I already said this but you guys go enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and I will go enjoy the rest of mine bye guys yeah.